Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve a deep dramatic edit using the Inspire Actions. This is a photo we'll be working on today. And here in our history palette, I'm going to show you what the after is going to look somewhat like. So again, the before and the after. I'm going to show you how to achieve this. We're going to start out working with the straight out of camera image by Dana Moore. And we're going to go ahead and start by running the Brilliant Color Base. This base action will give the photo some pop, a little bit of color, and some extra contrast. The next thing we're going to do is use the Spunky action in the Quick Look section. This will add some warmth to the photo. As you can see there, it warmed it up quite a bit, which looks very nice. Next, we're going to run MCP Drama to give it that deep, dark, dramatic look. Once it's done running, you'll notice it puts itself in a folder and opens up with a message. All the layers that are created in this action are black, which means they're hiding something underneath. We're going to go ahead and reveal whatever that is. The first layer at the top is Contrast and Pop. For Contrast and Pop, we're going to go ahead and invert that layer so it applies to the entire image. To invert a layer, you're going to make sure the mask is selected, so there's an outline around the black box, and then you're going to hit Control or Command, depending if you're a PC or a Mac, and the letter I. So you'll tap the letter I with that held down. So you'll see that we've now added some contrast and pop to this image. Next, we're going to go ahead and darken certain things that are a little bit brighter than I would like. I'm going to go ahead and increase my brush. You can see it down at the bottom. And to increase it, I'm using the right bracket key. You'll use your right and left bracket keys to change the size. My opacity currently, if you look at the top, is at 100%. If I want to lessen this effect, then I'll go ahead and paint with a brush at a lower opacity. So right now I'm just painting on the really bright areas so they don't stand out too much. Now that I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and we're going to go to Brighten with Contrast. For this, I just want to paint it on areas where I wanted them a little brighter. And it, mainly I'm going to do her face, but before I paint, I do want to lower the opacity for this. I'm going to put the opacity around 30%, and I'm going to paint on her face. Also make sure you're set to normal blend mode, so that way your brush works correctly. The next thing we're going to do is go to the deep color pop. This is where we're really going to pull out some of those colors. The main areas that I really want to impact with this are the truck, which you'll see I'm painting on right now, and possibly some of the background and tire. I'm also going to paint on the bottom part right here where there's rust to really bring some of that out. The next layer is Vivid Color Pop. What I want to do is I want the exact same area impacted as the Deep Color Pop. So this is a little shortcut for you. Select the mask for Deep Color Pop, hold your Alt or Option key down, and drag it to the next layer. When you let go, it will say replace layer mask, click yes. So now you'll see we've already masked that next layer and it's looking really nice. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna skip blurry. I don't want any blur on this image. I do want the clarity. Clarity is what's gonna really bring out the details in the truck. So I wanna paint that on the truck what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the opacity of this layer to 100%. The next thing I want to do is just a little bit more color pop. I'm going to go ahead and use Ultra Color from the Color Tricks section. This is also a paint on action. And I'm going to come in here and you'll see it's almost going neon now. It's going to be a little bit too intense. And now I'm going to come in and reduce the opacity until I'm happy with it, so maybe about 40%. To finish this picture, I'm going to run a vignette. I'm gonna use the classic vignette. And just exactly as it is, I don't need to do any masking with that. And I'm going to do the print sharpening. I'm gonna do the perfect print sharp. Now let's go ahead again, take a look at what the before and after will look like. There's your straight out of camera image. And there's the edit. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Jody from mcpactions.com.